Hi, Dan here, and I thought I'd say a review two two things. One being uh, film Greenland, the release in 2011. And I re really anticipated this uh, for coming out, but missed in the cinema, so I I recently acquired it for DVD, and I, I watched it last night. I think this game, this game, this film is very good, and I think quite quite good portrays uh, how Jordan's struggle with his father's death. And he struggled to sort of cope with his father's fame being thrust upon him. Um, also, trust issues and other things that are dealt with within this movie, which is really good. I was only, well, it's an hour and almost uh, almost twelve long, but I think it, it's it's slow in parts when it's not really much action, but when it is, it's very good. Um, now, Ryan Reynolds, I think, plays a, good, a very good portrayal of Green Lantern. And um, I think the graphics in this game, uh, game, I keep saying game, um, in this film is very, very good. And um, the characters are superb, the alien cre uh, that they designed are very good as well. And I think so, actually, this, the struggle of him becoming Green Lantern and dealing with all that's happened to him in his life. Now, I miss this, like I said, in cinema. But I recently I watched it and I think it's very good, much better than the um, recent film of Captain America, um, which I thought was a poor portrayal of him. I know it was supposed to do it from a different angle, but I thought it just ruined the character. And um, I thought it was better, better than the fourth film as well, that was also released around the same time. Um, so it's going to be quick for you today. So that's basically, most people are familiar with Green Lantern. Um, DC, hero, DC hero, part of the Justice League, in the Green Lantern Corps. Um, I'd rate this about seven or eight out of ten. Um, and I think it's very good. So, um, yeah, so I think it's a very good film. I'm really you should either go and buy it or watch it on uh, the internet or something like that. Um, worthwhile watching. Now. The other thing I wanted to go over today was um, the game Sonic uh, Sega All Stars Racing. Uh, this game is sort of uh, Sega's uh, take on the uh, Mario Kart style games that have uh, been floating around, floating around for the years. So Mario Kart was one of the first to do this um, years ago now. And they've also released out some different games such as Crash Bandicoot as, as one a few years ago for PS1. This one combines all sorts of characters from Sega games. We have in this touch screen we have Sonic, Tails, the little monkey guy. We have um, Robotnik. Uh, we have um, well not Robotnik, Eggman. We have the um, monkey guy from the thing over there. And loads of different characters from different Sega games such as um, Alex Kidd and loads of others. Now this game is different to Mario game as Mario game is very easy to control. This this game seems to, seems to sort of lack in um, handling of the cars and it's sort of all over the place. Try, they, I think they just tried to get out quickly just to sort of compete with Mario game but failed a bit in this game. Now it's a good game and I think it really is um, an excellent competitor to the Mario game. Uh, I think Mario game is slightly more thought of when they were probably making it. I think this game is sort of um, maybe a quick decision to get out to compete with it in the market. So I thought they could if they put a bit more effort into it, I thought or time I think they could have made a very good <coughs> game. And they've made a good game but just not as good as the Mario um Mario Kart game. Um but still a good game all round. Um I was an enjoyment I think. Um we've got loads of characters to choose from. I've only played a little bit of this game at, at, the, at the moment, um, but I know others have played it longer and they said it's a very good game. Um, so, this is a, I, I'd recommend this game, but if you want a, um, a more easier, because it says it's for a seven, 7 year old, I think the 7 could play this. But if, if you want a game like this for your child, or son, or daughter, actually the Mario Kart would probably be better from. So, I'd rate it about 6 out of 10. Um, I know it's quite low, but it's just because the way it handles and it's a bit, it's a bit difficult. The camera angles, you don't see 
uh, corners coming and stuff like that. So um, just quick reviews to these. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. And yeah, I get this, but I also get Mario Kart if um, you do something like that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I got a new webcam now, so 